Yeah, it's a cool gun. Um, I think the coolest thing about this gun is that it's black. Another cool thing about it is that it's compatible with Glock 19. From my understanding, it's mostly compatible with Gen 3 Glock 19. So if there's something made for that gun that you want to add to it or swap out, you can do it. Another cool thing about the gun that you may not know is how Paul Manu State Armory came up with the name Dagger. You see, when they were all finished designing the gun, they noticed right here, this cut right here on the slide, you see that? Looks an awful lot like a dagger. So that's how they came up with the name Dagger. Now, when I ordered the gun, I decided to get the call night sights. Those are trinium sights, they are nice. I also opted to get the threaded barrel. Now, I'm not allowed to have a suppressor. If I was to put a suppressor on one of my guns, I'd be in big trouble. Or a silencer for that matter. So with that in mind, you might be asking, well, why the heck would I get a threaded barrel? Well, I'm getting to it. You see, I remember a video by Max Headspace 9mm. He had a 9mm with a threaded barrel, and he had one of these on it. This is a Caw Valley Linear Compensator. There's no baffles in it, so it's not a suppressor or a silencer. And what it does is, it removes the blast you get from shooting from all up in your business, blowing out your eardrums, and it moves it down range. So you'll be able to shoot without ear protection. And I saw that and I was like, wow, I gotta do that. That's what I had in mind when I ordered this gun. Here's the gun with the compensator on it. Pretty cool. And this is how I had it the first time I went out all excited to get to shoot the gun. I took my first shot, and guess what? It was down on target, it was beautiful. Unfortunately though, it did not cycle the next round. I had a malfunction, yes. Which I thought was rather odd because this gun is set up to be shot with a suppressor on it. How's it gonna do that if it doesn't shoot with this thing on it? So I figured it probably just needs to be broken in a bit. So I dumped a few mags, and then I popped this baby back on it took another shot and it went something like this. Another malfunction, yes. However, this is an improvement from the first couple times that I shot. Before, the slide was completely closed after shooting. So it's actually trying to cycle now. Back to protecting my ears. And with my ears protected, I'm gonna run a 27 round magazine through it. Then I'll pop the compensator back on it and see if there's any improvement. Alright, it's go time. Back to protecting my ears. Back to protecting my ears. That sure was a lot of shooting. Let's see if those cartridges were well spent. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Or that could be bad. Let's find out. Yeah, it cycled the next round. Good. Goody. Yeah, I only loaded five. I'm out. So. Yeah, that's a big improvement, I'd say. All right, so that just about wraps it up. The Palmetto State Armory Dagger. It just took a little bit of breaking in before it ran smoothly with the compensator on it. I sure would hate to find out how many rounds it take to start working with the suppressor on it. Luckily, I'm not allowed to have one of those. So I'd say I'm in pretty good shape here. My ears have no ringing in them after shooting without ear protection. The deer stand is still in good shape. I'll probably use that next hunting season. I'll just climb up there and take out my gun and start killing animals. Fun.